welcome to this week's Talk Nerdy to Me, where we choose topics out of a hat that we chose before, and uh, we talk about them. So let's get started. Record. Back at this one. All right, and next topic. It's a blue one. It's a blue one. Let's see what it is. GTA Online. Awesome. So much fun. Except for the fact that there's so many glitchiness and problems with like, the servers and stuff. But it's, it's kind of like every single game now that's got a big online component. Yep. It comes out like glitchy and stuff, but it's going to happen because they don't test these games to have three million or however many people were playing it at once. They test yeah. it for just like a couple thousand people. Yeah. So it's going to take time to get it ready, but the, what they said is going to be in the game is in the game. It's incredible. There's so much to do. You're never bored unless you, you have server problems and then you have nothing to do <laughs> except for just drive around. But it's okay, so awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, this is where my hatred, um, I still stand by the sentiment that my most hated group of people are gamers. Just because for sentiments like this, where everybody was complaining <laughs> yeah, that GTA so was stupid. the game, it's so like dumb. the worst game because the online didn't work day yeah. one, you know, boohoo, you know, it made a billion, uh, I'll say it again, it made a billion dollars in like three days and people were expecting it to be on it day one. Yeah. I mean, like, what do you expect? That's, That's why they even put it out late, because they, yeah. were, they knew that they were going to have problems with it, and they yeah. told people that. Yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty clear cut. But... Um, I haven't been able to play it myself yet, but I made my character and everything. Um, the character customization is awesome. Especially if you uh, sign up for Rockstar Social Club first, you can use John Marston as your dad. No, that's that's awesome. so cool. Oh, seriously? Yeah, it's really yeah, cool. cool. And because Red Dead Redemption is my favorite game, yeah. I like I was just I was like freaking out when well, I saw I think that. I was I'm so a excited. Member of the Social Club already. Is that like through other games too, or is that like specific to GTA? What? The, the, the social club is for all of them. Like, yeah. if you have an okay, account, so yeah, I'm, I'm a member because, like, Red Dead Redemption. And yeah. And, you just gotta type in your account information. Yeah. Um, to talk about the character customization, you actually, uh, the way you customize your character is. It's really cool. You, you pick your grandparents on both your mom and dad's side, and then it forms what your mom and dad would look like, and then it uh, filters out of you, and then you get yeah, you it's get really your cool. own, like, personal look, and then you get, um, they get the, um, their clothes style, and, like, how they look depends on, like, how many hours of a day you put into spending time with family, committing illegal acts, doing illegal things. Doing <laughs> you can sports. also, like, sports, it's so cool. There's so yeah, the, much. The, it's, it's the most unique character customization for an online game I've seen in yeah. a while, which is, it, it was actually a lot of fun to build my own character to see what he would turn out yeah. looking like with what he does with his life and what his heritage was. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I think a lot of that came from LA Noir when they worked on the high intensity on like yeah. the story condition yeah. and everything. Um, which that game was okay, but after, because it, it, for Xbox it was split into three discs, oh and after God. the first disc, three discs. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. After the first disc, I started playing the second one, and it just got so repetitive I didn't really like it. But that's another, that's another story. Yeah, um, I have a question. I know it's on everyone's mind. Can you play PvP tennis? Yes, I did today. Oh. <laughs> I did today. Well, that's something I want to talk about. For anybody who's watching this, if you've seen the the YouTube channel, uh, it's uh, it's called the channel is called Sexy Phil, and it's spelled weird, but it's Phil DeFranco's new show that he does every day. I got to play with him today for like two hours. Yeah, it was that. so cool because I've never really met like a famous person. I guess he's not really technically famous, but he is because yeah, he's way. got he's got like three million subscribers on YouTube. That's pretty yeah. good. And he's got like 500,000 views on every single video yeah. every day. But it was just so cool. Like we did, we did a bunch of missions together, and then uh, I had him ride on the back of my uh, motorcycle. We were going to a mission. It was really cool. Was it a date? <laughs> yeah. He was a girl. It was so weird. We kept making did fun you of him. Buy him dinner? Yeah. Was his girlfriend really came walking through, and she was like, "Wow, is this tranny on the screen?" <laughs> so funny. But then, yeah, we played tennis for like 45 minutes. It was, it was actually, it's actually really good too. It's crazy. Yeah. It's really cool. Well, yeah, I, I love the whole like uh, you know buy your house and garage and buy things like aspect yeah. and like kind of like live another life almost in GTA. With I actually think there's like, more to do in the online than there is in the actual game. Yeah, I could it's, actually agree it's, with it's, that. There's so much you can do. Yeah, um, I really like how they like completely rebuilt their uh, online from the ground up and really yeah. like reinvented it and took what they did best from yeah. all the previous online games like Red Dead Redemption GTA 4 and boosted it up another to another level. Um, they did a really good job with that. And Rockstar always does quality Rockstar stuff. Rockstar is just starting to become like the premier game. Yeah, they're they're on the Because they don't come out with a lot of games, but when they do, when they do, they're like yeah, yeah, Rockstar they're, is what EA was. Yeah, I think yeah. So. Hopefully they just don't tank the same way. Which they need they need to come out with the Red Dead Redemption sequel. When, uh, they, when they come out, they will cement themselves in my book. put it on PC first. <laughs> <laughs> the, biggest, the biggest thing about Rockstar is, yeah, they don't do the PC releases yeah. all the time. I have a feeling they might, though, with GTA V, but maybe by Christmas or something, they might start to talk about yeah, it. They, they because they, they have like a, almost like a million people now on that petition to get yeah, it on PC. Yeah, I, I think they will, and I think they've been working on it, just really not telling anybody about Gamers it. Gamers yeah. never stupid. 
<laughs> that's a whole other topic, gamers and petitions. Yeah. Like, that's another reason why I get so peeved about some gamer communities. That's a topic for another time. Alright, well that's it for another one. Alright. Oh, 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 you still missed. I hit the with that, um, we'll wrap up this episode of Talk Nerd with Me. So, uh, thank you for watching this week. And you can always catch us next week. We always like to do an episode through Monday through Fridays. So, we'll see you guys next week. Come on, you got that.